Moshi Moshi motherfuckers, welcome back. Um, we left off, I was about to uh, conquer this kind of first area. And we're gonna, we're gonna do that real quick. Because I'm gonna show you the way I take kind of just end this area's existence a little bit. Okay. So most people will tell you to not do this. Uh, oh, and um, fair thing to talk about. So the Swordmaster, the guy who we got the Uchi Katana from, you know this. He is able to help you in the boss fight. That's gonna happen. Oh shit! Sorry. It's gonna happen right here. He can actually help you in this boss fight. Um, I don't think we'll need him. I'm gonna tip off my health, and we're gonna actually start this boss fight. Of well, that's a fun cutscene. So let's watch. This YouTube board. So this is where that gold pine resin is gonna come into play. All right. So when he enters the second ball, out. This is what you gotta be careful about. Oh. And the fight's over. He starts with this ice breath, and you have the twin spell swords like I do, and you're boosted. With yep. So I couldn't really talk about the fight while I was doing it. Um I suppose because it's a quick fight, there's not too much to talk about. Uh and the door's open. Um, and a decent amount of souls. So, hug his left side until he starts doing really broad swings to hit that side. Even then you can stick either, and they sound a little weird, stick to his ass or stick to that like left side. Just be careful because the problem with it is... Um, with doing that is... You will unfortunately kind of get hit at random on the left side. So sticking to his back will help a lot, but there's still his entire body during, uh, I don't remember which move, one of his moves is like the whole, his whole body's a hitbox. So unfortunately, oh, I thought I had these dump both out. Ow. There we go, but, um, yeah, I'm not really sure how or when that activates, but it does, and there's just gonna be a point during the fight where, um, that just robbed me of a- hey! I hate these knights. Well, you have to come back here later in the game, so you do have to come back to this area, I'm not really gonna spoil that, but... It is so fulfilling to kill these guys. You deserve to die. Alright. Um, the sword ones really aren't so bad. Um, it's the, the fucking... 
I am now stuck in a corner. Alright, we're gonna just... Out of the corner. Okay. I actually never tried this on one of these guys, and I want to do something kind of a little risky. Ready? Okay. Alright, it's his. There we go. I was trying to trying to get the parry in there, but uh, was not happening. Uh, that, that blue one up there, we're gonna fuck with at a later date, um, and by later date, I mean now, just after we talk to this girl. So you can't progress in the game until you talk to this woman. Uh, and it's not really explicitly said, which is one of the reasons I love this game, but, ah, oh. The wait has been long, unkindled one. Mm hmm I am Emma, High Priestess of Lothric Castle. It's lovely. Allow me to speak frankly. Mm -hmm. You will not find the Lords of Cinder here. They have left, gone. That is not to true. their journey homes, converging at the base of this castle. That is true. Head to the bottom of the high wall. Forge on through the great gate and raise this banner to proceed. This farewell gift is for you. It is the insignia of an old covenant. If you fear trespassers, dark spirits drawn by the embers, then etch this upon your heart, and the old concord will beckon noble blue sentinels to hunt these foul spirits. What is wrong, unkindled one? Are you not a lord seeker? Head to the base of the high wall and seek the Lords of Cinder. Is this not the calling of your kind since ages past? Okay. So, context. If you kill her right now, you actually trigger an endgame boss, the Dancer of the Boreal Valley. So, I'm not going to do that. One, I don't have Estus. Two, I doubt I'd actually be able to kill her. But you can do that. I wouldn't really suggest doing it if you're new to the game. Um, yeah, that's not what I meant to do. But, you definitely could try. I'm not going to discourage anyone from attempting that. But it would be a... Needless to say... Incredibly rough fight. Uh... I mean, I think the only way... I mean, there are ways to cheese the boss. There's no question about that, but without cheesing, kind of doing it for real. Okay. So he is the strongest of the knights here. And this is why. He can actually enchant his sword. That's why you kill him. You get a refined gem, and those are for dexterity builds, I'm pretty sure. Basically the best thing we could have gotten from him. Um, and after you kill him, there's no reason to kill the big guy. The big guy doesn't drop anything. But after you do that, then you have conquered the entirety of like the early part of this castle. And let me check the episode real quick. Oh, we're nine minutes in. We got time. Okay. Um, but once we do that, I mean, that, that's it. We... We have successfully, basically, completed the, the early game here. Um, not like the actual early game, but we've definitely done quite a bit. I know what you're saying. I should go back. I have a somewhat decent amount of souls. <sighs> wow, that is... That is view. In fact, you know the kind of view that is? That is 
screenshot worthy view, and we're gonna do just that. Hey, where is it? There you go. Ooh, actually, this would be kind of fun right here. This would be the. Oof, that is such a pretty view. Okay, uh, sorry. Uh, I still get taken back. This game is. Oh, so pretty. Oh, it's an auto. There we go. Alright, let's raise the banner. So I can talk through this. There is no dialogue. But, uh... Ooh, that would be also a really good screenshot at the beginning of this video. We'll see. Ooh, demons. Demon demons! If you have played Dark Souls 1 at all, you will recognize those buddies. You will remember them. They're jackasses, is what they are. Alright, there we go. Later, guys. So they will not take you back up to the wall. I am... 80%? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Okay. So this is a part of the game that a lot of people can miss some pretty small details. Now, I should go back, but I don't really have to, and there's a reason why. Uh, the bonfire there is not for any other purpose than to just make us you have a threshold in this area, but there's actually a really close by bonfire that doesn't really take a lot to get to. So we're gonna do a little bit of killing, you know what I mean? We're gonna we're gonna go in. So come around this corner, you got two dogs. Murder them both. Immense amount of prejudice. And then come over here. And you see there's this guy here. <laughs> Please grant me death. Undo my shackles. Right. <laughs> we can bitch him. Oh. oh, then it's true. A champion of Ash as I live and breathe. Mm -hmm. To be in your presence is a great honor. I am Yoel of Londor, a pilgrim as you can see, only somehow I failed to die as was ordained. Well, perhaps my calling lies elsewhere. Say, champion of Ash, how does the idea of taking me into your service strike you? I was once a sorcerer. Surely I can be of use. Accept this. I don't care what ending you're going for. Normally, Yol is used for the uh, hollow ending. We're going for the true ending, but we're going to... Oh, I am honored, truly. I should be dead. Yet you have granted me purpose anew. I, Yol of Londor, do solemnly swear myself to you. Alright. So, Yol will be kind of important. Damn, just dead ass wyvern. Um, he'll be important for a bit. Uh, we're gonna kinda not complete that quest line. For good reason. Um, I'm not a big fan of getting the ending for. All right, kill the dogs. Kill all the dogs. So they released to kind of kill these guys. I'm not really going to get on the lore of this game. Uh, I don't really think there's a point. Suck that dick. Alright. And here we go with another bonfire. Alright. Yum, yum. Now we can probably go back to fire. 
and Yol will be there. Um, but the, the hollow ending is just, uh, I've done it, I think, like three times now? Four or five times? And I've done the true ending around multiple times. Let's just say that, multiple times. I've also done the, like, Link the Fire ending, where you actually do your job. Oh, and for those of you who need to know, Yol is right here. He's also really good if you're going to go Sorcerer, so if you decide to go Sorcerer build... Oh... Our champion of Ash, welcome home. This pilgrim, with a debt in death, hardly deserves to behold this divine flame. And I never would have, had you not taken me into your service. I thank you dearly for this, and assure you of my leal service. So, is to see if you're on like a sorcerer boat. We're actually gonna grab that. Be safe. All right. Oh, uh, so, real quick. as I have said, I was once a sorcerer. Alas, the magic of Londor is a far cry from the wonders of Vinheim. But I can teach you what I know. Perhaps more importantly. I believe that I can help tease out your true strength. We pilgrims of Londor are keenly aware that those branded by the dark sign possess something quite special. So, the draw true strength, strength is how you, you know, of the dark sign. Let your true strength Shine. All right. So, if you have any knowledge of Souls lore, this is what it does. It allows you to, without costing souls, you do this. You you level up. Um, actually, yeah, let's let's get a solid sixteen in there. Um, be safe. Okay. And the thing is, is that it hollows you, so your character will start looking gross when you complete it. So you actually need to die to let your true strength be brought out. Uh, I don't expect to be able to do that too much. I'm really hoping not to die all that much. And I think it's actually time for us to meet another character. Welcome home, I shall speak thine heart's desire. Very well. Then touch the darkness within me. Take nourishment from these sovereignless souls. Alright, let's pump some stuff into faith. Let's go back. Farewell, I should need them. Alright. Since we can't really use uh I'm actually gonna get the atomic bar. So you can't really use those. I don't know. Can I get some? Ah, Oh, perfect. God damn, that's. Ashen. That is... Ashen. Uh, we're gonna do this. And because it's gonna bug me if I don't, we're gonna do this. Okay. Um. Oh, wait. Alright. There we go. There we go. So. This little guy right here, he's an actual lord of All that unkindled, and a seeker of lords. I am Ludlow of Corland. Look not in bewilderment, as I say. I linked the fire long ago, becoming the lord of Cinder. If substantiation be thy want, set thine eyes upon my child course. This sad cadaver. No need to be calm. Have a closer look. So now, now. do not be away over long. He's actually a pretty good guy. He might seem creepy. He's actually probably one of the better guys we got here. Hello? What a sick joke. Asking us to seek them at all. God, you're cynical bitch. Um but 
he's actually one of the more valuable NPCs in uh, environment. Alright, and the reason he's actually the Bible is because when we, here in a second, we'll go kill, um, well, here in a little bit, I guess not a second, here in a bit, we'll go kill a boss, and the boss will drop a transposing king. And with that, actually, we'll be able to create boss weapons, so, you know, uh, Vort Hammer is one of them. Uh, I would follow what I do in this building pretty much to the T. Otherwise, it just gets annoying. Um, walk out here. Kill this guy. Hey, don't be like that. Uh, cut down this corpse. Walk over here. Pear powder is not really all that useful for now. And actually, real quick. All right, we got, we got about 10 more minutes on the episode. Well, 10 more minutes isn't so bad. Um, there we go. Hey, no. Yes. One more. All right. Just right. Oh, what'd you drop? Oh, I was hoping it'd be their hat. Alright. Thrall Axe is pretty cool, though. Um... If you guys want me to go through the weapons, uh, other than the ones that I get or the ones that I find are cool, tell me, and I'll do just that. Okay, so it's, that is the red as bone. So Aretta, the girl, the gray rat, or the older woman, the gray rat wants us to find. She's actually dead. Uh, and that is her bone. They murdered her. Now do this exactly the way I do it. If you can. If you've wasted firebombs on something else, I'm very sorry. Gonna lead her away and grab the Zesta shard, and we are gonna kill her. But be very careful. It does seem like they should be pretty. up the fucking ass and that is the most annoying part about them don't touch me all right rubbish yeah oh shit let's heal up a little bit uh, we're not gonna heal all the way and there's a reason for that weavers yep guy right there we're gonna go right here and unlock this door. Uh, needs to be very careful. See this cage right here? It's an enemy. In fact, almost all of them uh, are dead, but a few are enemies. There we go. So you drop down in here. You get the Warriors of Sunlight. Yay for Sun Bros! Praise the sun, damn right. Damn right you praise the sun. And there's some Estus soup, so that's why we didn't heal up. Uh, you get a free heal out of it. Um, we're gonna walk back up here and... Cut this down. 
There we go. There we go. Alright, we're gonna enchant our... So this is what you do if uh, I picked up this spell. I'm a big... I'm a buffer. Uh, it's, it's not a good thing in the Souls games if you're known as a buffer. People don't tend to like you, and they have good reason. for killing these guys is no, you get nothing. But you can kill them and I think that's kind of the point. You, however, on the other hand. Oh, sickle sickle. No sir. Okay. I tried. So these two are both also evil. Um okay. So in this next section we're gonna do something that I don't normally do, but considering where it's gonna lead is most likely our best bet. All right, let's... Let's get in here. Could this be pointless? I, I think it is. Uh, walk right here, that works out. I didn't even need to jump right there, not even sure what happened. Let's go here, start swinging, kill this guy, get the whip, you know what I mean, get the whip, get some kinky whip playing there. That was the most delayed you have ever done, and I also probably fought you in two years. Alright, I'm not the perfect Souls player, I promise. Um, if that's not obvious to some people, I don't know what to tell you. Go down here, get a tie net chart, not so bad. Ignore her. We're gonna ignore her for now. We're gonna come up and kill her in a minute. She has a she's guardian knight. But for now, do not pay attention to the witch. Which is basically what they are. Um Crystal Blizzard, Crystal Blizzard. No, get back here. No. And this will happen every time. This in uh invasion? is a product of you being embered. So if you're like me and you like to be embered because of the health bonuses, you will be invaded by this guy, and he's not easy. He's poised through the ass, and he's kind of a dick. But we're gonna lead him down here. We're gonna slurp some, uh, some good old soup, and we're gonna wait. In fact, while we're doing that, we're gonna buff. Not sure what he's doing, but give him time. There we go. Get two hits in, roll back. Let him cast this, and then... Alright, yeah. So he does have Estus. And he does this back up. So that's why. That will one-shot most people. The reason I said let him cast power within is because it takes away health. Oh, and see now that it's gone, he doesn't. Oh, this is when you want to get him. So this little thing here actually heals him. So you want to just drag him away from that. Uh, get him over here. He does have some pretty predictable little tells, and that's. So that actual spell that'll heal you too, I'm pretty sure. Oh, and I'm dead. Oh, maybe not. You do a lot less damage than I thought you did. So he's very good at parrying you, so be very careful. Oh, he's in a corner. Alright, back up. And he's out of Estus. So he has a blue and a red tier stone ring. Oh. We're gonna use his thing here to heal ourselves. That was some bullshit. Fuck. Oh dear. 
Who's gonna win? Actually, first, it's like the bonfire. Oh, I already did. Oh, actually, I'll, I'll get on some of this. Oh. Oh, dear. Alright, didn't run resort to it. We are. Oh, come on. Get away from that. And I'm dead. Ugh. I hate him. I hate him as an NPC. He has... I promise that at all points in time, if you spam any sort of attacks, you will get parried. So unless you're... Oh, did it not light the bonfire? Oh, that's severely disappointing. You know what? What time is it? It's about time for the episode to end. That's a shitty note to end it on, but welcome to Dark Souls. Um, I am going to make my way back there, and then when we start next episode, that's where we'll be. So I will see you guys next time, and have a great day.